And the cleanup continues after this news after this week's winter storm. The local forecaster is now tracking colder temperatures for your weekend. Good afternoon, everybody, and thanks for joining us for a special edition of Local 4 News at 11. I'm Karen Drew. And I'm Rhonda Walker, and we do want to get our first look at the forecast with Brandon to find out where things stand. As you mentioned, there could be more snow coming our way for the weekend. Eh, just a little bit. Most of the weekend, I think, will be dry, so we try to play catch up, but the Arctic front that brought the snow now leaves the Arctic air in its wake. So we're only 14 degrees here at 11 a.m. Uh, at uh, Metro Airport anyway, 9 degrees in Howell, 12 Lapeer and 18 degrees City Airport. Comparing 11 a.m. now to yesterday, we're 5 to 10 degrees cooler than we were and wind chills. This is what you dress for as you're heading out and about running errands. Walk with the dog. We're single digits and even some sub zero wind chills without much of a breeze. High temps are going to struggle to even see 20 today, mostly cloudy, a few flakes and flurries, but really bone chilling cold today and tomorrow. So the three P's in cold weather, pets, pipes, potholes. Not much we can do about the potholes, freeze, thaw, snow plows, digging up some of that uh, asphalt. But uh, your pipes, if you have any concerns, you can run a little water, open the cabinets. Pets, just keep them inside for the most part. If they love being out in the cold weather, you can feed them a little bit more, give them the energy they need to stay warm. Uh, and it will be very, very cold. You see a little bit of snow this through the late afternoon and evening, just mainly some flakes 